If your smartphone, tablet, or laptop are some of the tools you take out to your shop these days, Shandor Natsalansi will be preaching to the choir when you read his Today's Shop article in our new February 2014 print issue. He's focusing on how computers have infiltrated our woodworking in all sorts of ways. From finding plans to creating three-dimensional CAD drawings, even laser engraving and shaping parts with CNC technology. If you're not up to speed yet, the revolution has more than begun, and you'll read all about it in today's shop. Speaking of fresh new computer technology, check out Rockler's brand new ready-to-route automated router table fence. It's our tool preview for February, and this first-to-market innovation can take the setup hassles out of joint making. Just clamp it to your router table, and it might even make your old dovetail jig obsolete. Shandor takes one for a test drive, and he shares his findings here. But turning to some tried and true woodworking, we've got some fun projects for you to build this time, and all three of them can help you do more with less. First, Editor-in-Chief Rob Johnstone converts an old window and some lumber salvage from a truck trailer into a handsome media cabinet. Converting building materials into new furnishings is a hot new design trend, and this project will bring you into the loop. It's sure to inspire some new project ideas from recycled roots. We also have new hardware to share in another project that will help you make better use of a small bedroom space. Kimberly McNeilan, a Twin Cities-based woodworker and teacher, builds a Murphy bed that flips up to expose a spacious desk. It's an advanced sheet goods project, but it packs a one-two punch in terms of functional furniture. You can watch the transformation from bed to desk and a new more on the web video for February, then follow our step-by-step -step plans to build one for your home. For our small shop journal project this time, learn how to make space-saving storage for your plywood and other sheet materials. Our swing-out panel cart will help you stow both 4x8 material and cutoffs conveniently. Just roll it out on a pivot and casters for quick, easy access. Senior Editor Chris Marshall will walk you through the features in yet another More on the Web video. On the department side, our pro wood turner Ernie Conover shows you how to convert logs into turning blanks with a chainsaw correctly and safely. Then flip over to his handsome Queen Anne candle stand table in this issue. He'll explain how to build this heirloom, then he demonstrates several jigs that are used to make it in his More on the Web video coverage. There's plenty more content here as well. AJ Hamler makes a practical jig for drilling vertical work pieces in our jigs and fixtures department. Michael Dresner tallies up his top 10 list of products every good finisher needs to keep on hand in Finishing Thoughts. In Shop Talk, learn about how Tim Cranmore started making recorders for playing Baroque and Renaissance music some 35 years ago. Or get an expert's answer on what pipe works best for a dust collection system in questions and answers this time. Of course, you'll always find new tricks from fellow readers, feedback on our recent articles and letters, a new Stumpers tool challenge, and much, much more. It's all coming your way in the new February 2014 print issue. If you're already a subscriber, your issue will be arriving soon. But to sign up or to buy a copy of this issue alone, visit woodworkersjournal.com. And for woodworking tools and supplies, visit rockler.com.